Hey guys, uh, welcome back. We've got another turn in Bumble Rumble. So that's turn 85. <clears throat> so I've taken a quick look at this turn, but I haven't actually uh, played any of it, I don't think. Uh, so I have a message from Tian Chi, who of course I attacked. So this will be his first message after I attacked him. Uh, hello, Mr. Hands. I can imagine that was not the introduction you were hoping for. While I have uh, taken some of Ohm's lands, it's only fair to point out that you've taken just as many. Uh, regarding my other wars, although I am uh, much larger than Shinoyama and more developed, I can't afford to throw my full weight at him since I have so many wars on other th fronts, which is why I'm fucking with him. Um, I was able to inflict a significant blow on him early on, but overall I would consider the situation more of a stalemate. Pythium is also a stalemate. Our border is so small, uh, it's hard to gain um, other than small raids back and forth. I don't know if you caught it a few turns ago, but Pythium um, deployed a really cruel trick I had never seen before. Amazingly powerful, did a lot of damage to me, though I was... Fortunately, able to neutralize it a few turns later. Um, <clears throat> I hope you get the uh, chance to experience it for yourself sometime in this game. Anyways, uh, I think you might read uh, on my... Uh, I think your read on my wars might be a bit off, but it's not crazy for you to attack me. There are easier targets for you, though. Shinoyama gives you a throne and a good position on some of my thrones for a late-game push. Uh, Relay and Van are both very busy and would yield a throne or two. If you're... Uh, I feel you're putting me ahead of Pythium in terms of strength, but I feel we're equal. I'm not sure that I would have uh, changed your choice of targets. If that would have changed your choice in targets, uh, you have a good coastal access to both of us. Okay, second message. The truth is, besides defending my own fr thrones, the only way I can stop your eventual late game throne push is to threaten your thrones in Pangaea. Uh, I was hoping Ulm would uh, help that cause, but the sub uh, decided uh, or decided to side with you, and here we are. Uh, I would probably have attacked you through the Ulm Pangea at some point this game, so it seems um, you got to start the fight on your own terms. It's truly hard to script this game at the moment. Um, not just the micro, but the macro stuff is challenging too. We'll see what comes out the next few turns. Maybe uh, the feeble-minded Mr. Hands will decide to sue for peace after a few more uh, thugs splat themselves on my PD. Yeah, that was a kind of embarrassing turn. We'll have to do Diplo back to him. Um, so I killed somebody. Actually, let's go back and check. Luban. I'm not sure who that was, but I know the province. I do want to see if we killed... Because I think I was targeting a Tart. And I think I can tell the Tart's name. I think it was this guy. Luban sounds like a TNG name, though. Uh, and unfortunately what that means is it's probably not this guy. No. Fuck. Um, so we missed the tart with Mind Hunt. Um, a disease demon killed my Lich, which sucks because my Lich had some items on him. I think it was just a staff. Still, its staff is gone. Fucker. Probably need to put armor on my Lich. Probably rainbow armor would be good. It would probably help him first. Disease demons and the, <clears throat> and the like could also help him spam skeletons out and dodge. Um, mind hunt. So he werewolfs me, doesn't work. He sends a tart in. So this is a kind of interesting tart. Uh, this one is, I think, an Earth Astral Tart that is going to do Power of the Spheres uh, and then Summon Earth Power. It seems my sound isn't working. Okay, this video might not have uh, sound on it, or it might, I don't know. But I can't hear any of it. So, uh, that was kind of funny. He cast Meteor Storm. <clears throat> Which, uh, like, Meteor Storm is really good, obviously, because you're basically having Gifts of Heaven come down all over the place. <clears throat> but you're basically relying on not dying. Uh, and unfortunately this guy's fatigued out, so even if he Phoenix Pyre, it wouldn't have mattered. His protection's great, like, he should have done this guy with Fluffers, but even, like, Body Ethereal would have made a big difference here, because, like, my Water Elementals are what's actually going to rape him. And he only lasts a couple rounds. But even in those couple rounds, uh, you know, he still killed, uh, like, 11 Shamblers. 
Uh, but we got the Sword of the Five Elements, an Enchanted Shield, a Starshine Skullcap, and an Armor of the Five Elements from him. So that's actually nice. Um, I would say that was a positive trade for me, in terms of the, the what I lost versus what I gained. Um, we had another Tartarian come in here. This one is normally like a Fire Death Cross Path. Let's see what this one is. Fire Earth, okay. I forget what the random randoms are. I, I think it's normally Fire, but I could be wrong. Uh, but this is just a big hunk of meat coming in. Is he doing Phoenix Pyre? Yeah. So this guy will be a little tricky to kill. You'd have to do a fatigue play to kill him. Um, or you just mind hunt him. Let's actually take a look at that again. Um, MR is kind of high, but not super high. It's 22. 22 is definitely still mind huntable. So we might target him. We have another Tart come in. This time here, and she has a Crystal Amazon as a uh, as a buddy. Um, now she's probably the better target for mind hunt. If I if I only get to target one, might as well get this guy. A lot more gear. Though, uh, not as many hit points, and is not going to be doing Phoenix Pyre, so she's more vulnerable to kind of normal anti-super combatant stuff. So there's that. Um, Vampire Lord attacks me here. Now this was where I had a... Uh, a trap set up. I'm casting Enslave Mind, but I think it's not working. Kind of high MR, but not super high. Okay, Living Waters come out. I'm a little sad that Enslaved Mind isn't really working. What does it say happened to him? Dad. Okay. And died on the side of, of TNG as a commander. So, Enslaved Mind never worked. <laughs> but there was a chance. So you're telling me there's a chance. Um, Windmaster came in and killed some PD with an air elemental. This one's actually kind of lucky because um, there's a decent chance that the arrows would have killed the uh, the Windmaster. Like they hit him for five. Yeah. So anyway, that worked here. Killed a few PD, but this is all land that should be his. So I'm fine trading it back and forth, because it's stuff I wouldn't have had. As long as I'm not taking losses, that's kind of the main thing. Okay, we delete him. I don't think he had gear on him, but I'm not sure. No. Uh, but very possible we get hit with the tart in that province, because I think that's a decent investment from me. Um... We kill off uh, one of Yis's kind of fort defenders here. Not too much to see. I don't even know if he's scripting these anymore. Yeah, no gems, so it's not really going to be anything to see here. But we were pretty conservative with what we did. Uh, didn't lose anything. Uh, okay, there's a battle in Arishia. And then uh, there's a battle in the Fortress of the Mines of Despair. So this is the uh, the fort that we sieged up really before T and she could get to it. Get Soul Slay a couple times in returning. Don't know if they killed anything. 
Um, lost two War Shamblers, not a bad trade. Now, uh, the good thing about this is this is a coastal fort, so it will be reasonably easy for me to defend. Um, <clears throat> in addition, um, I can put a temple here, and it will help with me with my dominion push. Uh, it's also a really good site, so I think it is something I'm going to want to try to defend pretty hard. I mean, this is a super duper good province. So I think... I'm not sure if we make a move on TNG up here. I think it might be in our interest, I'm not sure. Um, it's looking like... so these guys have kind of stalled for a piece. It's very possible that me attacking TNG could destabilize, like, the Alliance. Uh, and I'm not sure about that. So anyway, uh, the other thing that's unfortunate is we didn't get our god back. I guess... I can't remember, maybe it's like 30 to 50 is how many checks you get, and I did, what, 15 or something, call gods? So 15 times 3 is like 45, so I guess I should have done a few more. Um, anyway, that's another turn on Mr. Hands, which kind of sucks. Um, maybe they should, well, Mr. Hands hasn't really been doing so hot. Okay, so here, we're going to take these guys on top. That should hopefully be enough to break the Lake of God. Yeah, so it should break next turn. Um, I don't have any Astral guys over there, which... Um, kind of looking at this, thinking, like, where should I go? I have a golem who can teleport somewhere. I mean, potentially, we could if we put a ton of attack gear on him, he might be able to kill this lady. Let's take a look at our... This, this one's doing damage reversal, and I can't remember the exact mechanics of it if it's... Okay, there's no, like, doesn't affect mindless or something, so it would affect him. <laughs> I feel like teleporting water elementals would be, like, enough of them would kill her. Let's take a look, look at her after the buff cycle. Like, I feel like 15 would kill her. Yeah. The Athame isn't going to heal versus water elementals. Protection's not terribly high. Defense isn't terribly high. It's going to get harassed down by water elementals a lot. So I think she's a pretty ripe target for a normal attack. This guy's a pretty ripe target for Mindhunt. Um, there was a Crystal Amazon here, but I think she got routed off. Um, well, I know she did. So that does make her vulnerable to Mindhunt. Um, this guy should have a... Oh, let's see. <laughs> Um, now the trick here with all this is like this guy can stay potentially these guys they don't have any more shit so um, I might do them like summon water elemental retreat because if there's a magic phase attack here which is possible um, then they'll still be there for the magic phase otherwise I think we're just gonna pull them back we can bring in fresh ones Um, this guy has a Ring of Returning, too, so I think that's actually going to be fine. Like, two Water Elementals, plus a fair amount of PD, plus one guy spamming Enslaved Mind. Um, we'll be able to deal with a fair amount of stuff. And if I lose it, then so what? But I think the play is going to be... How many Community Slaves do I have? Four? Who's my master? I don't really care about one of these guys. You are going to make a temple. Because this, I think, is going to be a permanent addition to my little lands. It's something that I want greatly. 
Um, these would be good too. Uh, okay, what are we doing over here? You can call God because you don't have anything better to do. I think some of our other God callers are going to go back to preaching because I don't need that many. So if you hadn't uh, noticed by now, we are going to be doing this turn basically from scratch. Um, I kind of want to just ping him for gems here. Well, what do I want this guy to do? GM answers? In Inuk? I kinda, I don't, I'm not sure what we're gonna do over here. Um. Okay, I think you're going to make more rainbow armor. The armor I cannot get enough of. You... I think we already have our shields of valor. I think I made a few of those. These are going to be really nice on rings of returning thugs with uh, basically water elemental dudes. We probably could use another one, so I think we're going to make one more. You are going to sight search. Okay, now this group... I feel like this group is pretty vulnerable. to assassins. What do I need all those gems for? Um. I don't know if I want to make an inland play. I think this would be like a very big commitment, and I don't think I could keep it from Pythium. Because I can't generate troops on the inland. Like, I want to control Bandar Log. And I probably will try to control it, but I think my goal is to mostly play defensive. And then just pick people off. But I would really like to steal a tart. I would love to steal, like, this tart would be great to steal too. So... Maybe we just send, like, a shitload of assassins and a bunch of enslaved minders uh, over here. And I don't think... And he could have them set up to retreat, but... Yeah, actually, I think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're gonna take... We're gonna send as many enslaved minders over here as we can. Um, we're just going to hang tight. We're going to sight search here too. Like we're going to do all of that. Sight search. You can preach. You can research. You were probably going to teleport here. Um... So anyway, I think that's one mission, is picking off these tarts. Uh, the other mission is going to be mobilizing this army back out now that we have a bunch more mage support. The thing I need to think about, though, is how am I going to do... Like, she probably needs a coral sword. I kind of want her to have a bottle of water, too. Like, how are we going to do against assassins? That's kind of what I'm worried about. Not feeling super good. Um, what would be good anti asset? Well, I can just give her that. Well, I think she's not really going to be the nature one, though. This guy is going to be doing a lot of the nature shit. Now, this guy is going to be pretty strong versus assassins. Not really worried about him. Do we want to give him a shield? Give him a shield. Yeah. He's going to be pretty good. Cornucopia. I don't know about the bracer of protection here. I 
Maybe that's the best we can we can come up with. I don't know. A stupid item for him. Um, so this guy's gonna drop mass regen. We need somebody to drop will of fates. Okay, we don't need a water booster at all here, since you're gonna be doing astral stuff. Okay. This guy, I think, can do Will of Fates. Let's go ahead and check. Will of Fates, what level do we need to be? I think you have to be four or five. You need to be four. It's gonna knock your ass out at four, though. You kind of want to be five, but we can only get to four. Um, I think we accept that. I'm gonna put 10 on him so we can do it a few times, but basically his whole job is gonna be power the spheres will of fates. <laughs> this will really help with uh, basically meteor type events, which are gonna suck. Uh, fog warriors, I don't think will help with that, but that's okay. Um, now to get fog warriors off, I don't actually have all the stuff I'm gonna need. Shit. So I think these guys are all going to move out, except the Fairy Queen. The Fairy Queen's going to have to stay because, basically, uh, we need to give her more, like, a path boost to cast Flog Warriors. Uh, air, I mean, Earth, we should be good to go. Uh, water, we'll have to look at. You should definitely be getting one of these and one of these. I think I want to make sure we do Coral Swords on our higher value mages, too. They're very, very cheap for me. They're like two, two gems. Okay. I might need a couple more hammers, too. I feel like I'm tapping out my, my hammers at the moment. Which for a while, I wasn't really using them all, but now I'm, like, definitely using them. Troll. Okay, I don't really need researchers, but I actually kind of do need a patrol here. Um, this one we just finished, so we actually need to build a, uh, a temple here. So let's actually have... You can preach. Um, we're gonna take all our astral stuff, which we're gonna need for other people, and give them to other people. Um, you can site search. 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 You can research. The nice thing, too, about finishing research is a lot of times you have kind of useless mages. I think all my mages are going to be pretty useless in combat. Like, I don't really have a big research bench filled up with uh, useless people. Which is very nice. Okay, wait, so now we need to build a temple, and I don't know which one of you I pegged to do that. It will probably be you. Okay, so we're getting two temples this turn. That's going to push us, push us up to 32. We're already at Dominion Strength 12. So we might get up to... We'll be getting up to 13 kind of soon. This one will be... Um, the third. This one will be the fourth. Um, yeah. That one I'm already counting. This one will probably be the fifth. We'll probably have a fight over this one, I'm guessing. You could also move here and surprise me, so I'll have to kind of prepare. Um, but... I'm actually thinking I'm gonna... Flames from... Uh, I have kind of prepared so that I can do this this turn. I'll, sh 
show you what this is. We are going to nuke from orbit. This is when playing a human nation really, really, really sucks. Let's see, I need my ring of wizardry somewhere. Ring of Wizardry. Um, what did I use it for? I have no idea. May have been for mind hunting. Probably was. Yep. Um, okay. So what was I doing? We were making uh, a Flames from the Sky caster. Oof, that's gonna hurt. Now... Yeah, if I had tarts, I might send a tart in too. Just to deal with whatever is left after Flames from the Sky, but... Can we Breath of Winter? I mean, Murdering Winter. Will it be good here? It's gonna do 8 AN damage. I believe. Um, I don't know if that will be enough to kill Geomancers. I think it will, actually. Nine, but I think with old age they get less HP, which I don't think is factored in, so I think they're at eight. And then these guys are not old, but not very much HP. The DRN is going to kill a lot of them. Murdering Winner could be pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if it's really, if it's going to be worth gems, though. Like, I can probably hit it again next turn, is the thing. Like, it's probably just going to sit here. And I'd kind of rather, maybe I'd rather spend fire than, oh no, but I'm putting up, so here's the problem with this. We're actually, so we're actually going to hang tight. He's going to, well... I need to steal Eternal Pyre. So let's go through how we're going to do that, actually. Because... So I'm sending... how many? One second, let me pause and find out. Okay, so I'm sending 70 Death Gems to Shinigama, and he's going to send me 70 Fire. So let's go ahead and put that in. Send Magic Gems to Shinigama, Death. Now, death are the gems that are going to allow him to come underwater, so I'm not super stoked, but this is the world we live in. Um, got our fever fetish going to work there. I forget where I put... Where's my fire for? Because I had a fire random, like a fire double random, King of the Deep. I'm not forgetting where I put him. I think he's down here. Yeah, so this is the guy that's going to be casting... How far away is... Six, okay, yeah, not even close. Basically, next turn we're going to cast that. So I think we're actually going to hang tight. Maybe I just... I think this is what we do. I think we move this army here. Highly unlikely he moves to intercept. He's probably going to want to storm through this. But he's also probably worried I try to knock him off, so he probably keeps his army. If he does, next turn I can murdering winter this. And flames from the sky it. Well, no, I can't. Next turn I'm going to be casting it. Next turn I can murdering winter it, maybe. Um... 
Yeah. And then we'll probably send my army in. But um, I'm probably going to pause in a minute and put my scripts in for these two armies. I don't want to make y'all watch that. And then I'll probably resume. Um, maybe what we'll do together, because it's always a little more fun, I think, watching the thuggy parts, is... Uh, I think we're going to do... We should have a fair amount of unrest. Should have him patrol. Hopefully he gets that unrest down. Um... But yeah, I think we'll do the thuggy parts, and then uh, I'm going to probably pause, and then uh, we'll do the rest off camera. So um, here we go. So the thing I want to do here is I want to send a shit ton of water elemental summoners, ideally with rings of returning, right here. Problem is you can move an army here. So I'd potentially need gems for two castings, which now it's like a lot of gems. Um, how many of these do we have? We have one, two, three, four, and then how many rings of returning? I need, that's the other thing I need to do is check my armies for how many rings of like. I want to pull rings of returning and like high value items off some of these armies if I see any. Okay, I don't really see any there. I think we've already done that here. Where the fuck did I find the death water cross path to make the ghost orb? Not sure. He's got an enchanted shield from killing that tart. Um, we'll have him pull back in here. That's actually not a bad sight. Five gem sight here? Damn. I think other people had... I mean, I have a lot of gems, but it's largely from getting other people's shit. Like, in my, in my base provinces, I don't really have any, like, terribly great gem sites. Like, this one's okay. It's not great. Yeah, all my good gym sites were in other people's lands for the most part. This one turned out having, you know, a fair amount. Uh, okay. So let's do the thuggy thing. So... What are you doing when you're patrolling? The danger of going after this is I may get this whole army. And with a bunch of flyers, it would kind of murder me. Two vampire lords here. Oh, fucking hello. God, I kind of just... I kind of want to take it easy and not go after this one. And just mind hunt. Because this one's actually risky. Like, if I sent a bunch of guys in here, they could die. Uh, here, it seems to be much safer. Like, I have vision of all the surrounding provinces. Uh, yeah. So I think we're gonna do that. I think we're just gonna focus on mine hunting. I've got so many mine hunting targets, like I can do two or three here and two or three here. Probably, yeah. We'll just, we'll hope that works. Um, I've got one guy in my cap who is a mine hunter extraordinaire somewhere. So we just need to give him uh, the proper gear. Um, sorcery. I forget, I need... I probably need to make some more crystal coins. Do I have crystal coins anywhere? It's gonna be a pain in my ass to look for. I guess I just look here for Astral 4, primarily. Here's one. This is a mind hunter somewhere. 
Oh, he was just, he was part of this. So, okay, so he's gonna definitely do Mind Hunt. I kinda wanna snipe these vampires first. Uh, but anyway, we found one of them. Right here, that was the one we just found. Do I have any more crystal coins? I forgot! The crystal coins are really part of the mind hunt recipe, and so I've kind of been slacking on making them. I think I was thinking more about... Well, I kind of want to enslave mine, but I can't do... You know, enslave mine would work on... I think since I don't have enough crystal coins... Uh, to do a bunch of mind hunt spam, I think we mind hunt this one, and I think this guy we actually try to enslave him. I'd like to have this guy on my side. Uh, and he's actually much safer to send enslavers at. So... And I could kind of do, like, a mass amount. And I can potentially cut off retreat paths, too. Well, maybe not. I probably can't do both. I don't know if he's going to do retreat orders on him. Probably be smarter. So I only have three guys to send. So what that is going to mean... So it's going to be these two. I don't have to redo this, huh? I don't know what I'm doing it. Um, yeah, anytime you... We're gonna have two enslaved minders. One of which is gonna have very high. Um, penetration. Like, this is getting me up to. Uh, this is gonna get me pretty high. This is gonna get me all the way up to. Uh, five. Which is basically going to put this guy... He was at 22, I think. So it's going to put him at 17. Uh, 17 MR is definitely pierceable with um, Enslaved Mind, which... Actually, maybe Enslaved Mind is... I can't remember if it's easy, easily negates. No, it's just MR negates. It's not easily negates. Like, uh, Master Enslaved is MR easily negates. Which basically means you take a 4 penalty. So... Yeah, the short answer is... That these guys are going to be able to... The One of them that only has the 2 booster, not as much. But most of these guys are going to be able to do power to spheres. And then... Um, enslaved Mind. I really would like the other one, though. Like... What am I gonna do with the fire... I'm not gonna do much with him. Probably raid with him, but, but like, this guy's sick. Uh, yeah, blood 2, water 3. Well, we'll just get him off the board, but... Let's see. Okay, you're doing Mind Hunt on a 174, which is this one. You're doing Mind Hunt... Okay, you haven't cast it yet. Okay, I think this is changing up. Like, you, good sir, are not going to be a Mind Hunter. And you may be a Teleporter, but you're not going to be a Mind Hunter. The... This is going to go over here, and then we don't really have another use. For these rings at the moment, so we're probably going to do a... A ring, and you're going to do... Mind Hunt. This is going to be really high penetration Mind Hunt. So these vampires are in some deep, deep, deep shit. Um...
Okay, but right now we just have one teleporter coming in to do uh, Enslaved Mind, but I think we're going to send with him a... These guys are instead just going to be Elemental Summoners. So we'll do something like this. Maybe with some Rainbow Armor. Maybe with a Water Lens. And... Uh, Yeah, basically... This guy's six free invigoration. He's gonna be just laying down. I'm laying there. Where are we going? This guy can fly though. Potentially they could jump on him. Which make me sad. This is risky, like I don't have rings of returning or anything on these guys. I don't want to do risky stuff. Getting this guy is not as risky. It's still a little risky. bracelets and then this can go here and the script for this guy is basically going to be something like that What are you gonna do? I think you were going to do is power the spheres and slave mind. Problem is I won't even be able to get him out. He'll be a creep. So I'll need to like simultaneously move in an undead person, which I don't really have a way to do that. Uh, my lich died, which sucks. We are also getting ready where I need to cast... Uh, and I think I can do it this turn. Where do I want my little headquarters to be? Here or over here? This is a little safer. A demon gate here too. This might be our little blood headquarters. Um, maybe we pick somebody who isn't armed if we can. Unless everybody's hard marked. Okay, this guy's not hard marked. So maybe maybe we make our little headquarters over here. Problem is this is not quite as defendable. But uh, we have the slaves now, so we need to cast Curse of Blood. Which we can get up to death four. Which I may need to rob that ring of, uh, of sorcery off of them. I need to be blood... An armor of twisting thorns and a blood thorn. Okay, we're gonna have to rob, I think, this Ring of Wizardry, which means I can't mind hunt one of the vampires. So we'll have to see if we can figure that out. Um, but I think it is worth it to go ahead and get our vampire economy going. So that's all we need to cast Curse of Blood. Let's give him some blood slaves in case he gets assassinated. Death gems, maybe. Okay. Hopefully he, nothing bad happens. I've got a lot of eggs in this basket. I mean, it's very unlikely, but in the off chance it does, we'd be the shitter. 
<clears throat> oh, I got a Palisades coming up here. Good, good, good. Okay, and now we have to figure out what to do. Um, do I not have another Astral Booster anywhere? Is that really how dire the situation is? I definitely need to make a crystal coin. It's going very high on the list. So, crystal coin time. Let's just go ahead and do that. I think we're actually not gonna... I think we're not gonna mind hunt here. Um... here. So, okay, we actually ended up having, like, a pretty freaking limited uh, attack. This guy we're going on with... This is risky, too. Like, I'm basically counting on enslaving Minding him, because the water elemental... I think this is too risky. Because he could A, jump in the back and kill my guys, and B, the enslaved mine could fail, and then the Phoenix Pyre is going to mean I, I lose, and if I lose, my guys die. We. But we could just move... these guys back in. give these guys their uh, their living water scripts again. I don't know if we save that. Let's check in a minute. Well, control S to check. Okay, it's eight. It's the script we were using. Which is probably a little bit better. Um, now, I don't want to get nailed with a magic duel, so we've got to be a little cautious about that. Not put people in the same tiles as our enslaved minders. Uh, okay. Monolith would be nice to have. I kind of want to target... He doesn't have unforted temples, uh, but he does have these guys out preaching, which... They're pretty easy targets. Change this to body ethereal. And then I mean he can just go here. We also could move forward. I feel like a very light kind of skirmish army here would be pretty, pretty
pretty legit. Like, these guys... Plus... Like, this would be pretty versatile. Like, it would destroy a thug, probably. Because we've got, potentially, uh... Enslaved Mind. Uh, a bunch of Soul Slays. And we've got uh, the Lions, which are going to help deal with Thugs. And we've got... The problem is on the Retreat... But this is pretty versatile. I don't think a Thug is going to very easily deal with Horde of Skeletons, Soul Slay, Enslaved Mind, As or Green Lions... An army certainly would. We're really not doing much now. Wait, we're, are we still teleporting on this guy? No, I think it's too high risk. Eight Imperial Geomancers. See, that I don't feel is super high risk. I think we hang tight. I think my emphasis is going to be on not losing things. Um, okay, we'll have you guys. We need more hats. I probably, if I can scrounge one up, I probably need to make uh, another... Uh, another crystal coin. I can't remember where my other Earth Astral Cross Path is. I know I got two. Here's one. Oh, here's my other one. Wait, I should have a free hat over here now. Yeah, if you're just researching... Okay, don't leave items on people researching. That's how you forget about them. Um, so we're going to make another crystal coin so I can really mind hunt better than I'm doing right now. I probably should think about making another um, basic kit for like hammers lying around. Like another uh, shroud, another eye of the void. Um, okay, let's take all these Forging all this useless shit. Let's make shit that I need. Do we really need earth boots? No, we don't. So... Problem, when I take Eternal Pyre, I think the world is going to turn on me. Like, four globals is a lot. But I've got a pretty good grip on these globals. Okay, so we need to make one Rune Smasher. We need to make one Eye of the Void. We need to make one uh, Shroud of the Battle Saint. And that will be another mind hunting kit, along with some of the, the coins we're forging. Um, Looks like Vanarus is kind of getting munched by Relay. I wish I had a... Do I have a scout? Wish I had a scout. Okay. Let's have you side search. Do you have a scout? Can you make it all the way over here? I love you. Okay. Okay, side search here. Uh, we're researching. Everything seems about right. Here we're side searching. Here we're side searching. Here we're making, I think, a rainbow armor. 
here we're gonna make air earth. I don't know what we were making. I do need air gear. I don't have enough air to make an air hat, which is kind of what she needs. No, I do. I don't have enough. Oh, wait, I do. So I'll make her an air... You're not high enough? Get me fucking with me. Okay, you can side search. I'll find you. We'll take you off patrol duty. Please don't attack me, kind sir. defend. I gotta remember to come back to you. So I think I'm gonna leave her defending until next turn. So it will remind me that there's something I have to do, because otherwise the chances of me remembering are like zero. Uh, okay, and then what else? Let's have more scouts. Okay, what did we crystal coin? We crystal, crystal coined here. So we found uh, the Throne of the Moon. Uh, Magus Temple. Cool. Okay, where else did we do it? I can crystal coin potentially some of these battles that might happen. This one we looked at. Uh, the Throne of the Turning Ocean. Conjuration bonus. Oh my god, I want that. I kind of want an attack for Lei. But I kind of don't. Because I hate attacking for Lei. The Man of War Breeding Grounds. Man, what a nice... What a nice sight. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. A nine gem sight. Holy shit. Plus conjuration bonus 20? Holy shit. I mean, that is an incentive to go to war. And, I mean, they've got the two thrones I would want most. And I no longer have to worry about getting attacked in the war. I think we're going to start making plans to attack them. I don't want to, but I think we have to. Um, what that's going to mean is bottles of water and, uh, yeah, and then probably get Mr. Hands ready. Turn one anti magic for all the stupid, uh, Rings of Returning Dudes that I'm going to snipe the shit out of. I spell Astral Window. Can we see what's going on? Wait, where's the fight I want to see? Don't think we can see that. Eight. So Relay is kind of smushing Vanarus. So I probably actually need to turn on Relay. Like, I do not want Relay getting any more land. I wanted Vanarus to win that war. But I think I, can, I think I have enough resources to keep picking at TNG as long as I don't commit much. Like, as long as I don't overextend and take something where I'm gonna have to, like... Like, why am I even going for this? Like, this is... Kind of risking a lot. I think we're okay. We can kind of raid outwards. Are you okay? You're mind hunting. Were you teleporting? Yeah, we're not teleporting. Um. I 
could teleport on this guy, but he's next to an army, so we're gonna just be careful. I'll take it back later. He can't keep guys there. Um, and if he he does, then I'll have enough. We'll we'll deal with it. It's basically what I'm trying to say. Yeah, let's have you come over here. Let's have you come this way. You come up. Wait, what were you doing? Oh, was this out of range? Wait, I thought you were casting... Maybe we didn't really have a target. Let's go ahead and get eyes on the relays capital here. I think we actually have a big enough army to go ahead and take relays capital. Like, it's pretty easy to make these guys immune to assassins. Mm. And then a few scouts with just massive living water spam. Now, I need nature mages to my front, and air mages. Uh, Fog Warriors is super good underwater. It could be the edge. So I guess it's nature things that are going to be kind of limiting, because we're going to need basically 70 nature gems worth of stuff, at least. Make another cornucopia here with you. Okay, we searched this, didn't find anything. Okay, we've got a Wraith Lord here. I think I'm going to need that for the Relay in War. So let's go ahead and get him up that way as best we can. Um, I think these guys were making Clam of Pearls last turn. Side switch there. Part of the thing I don't like about scouting is you have to like control them manually. It's kind of an annoying another layer of micro that you need to do. Keep her on that. There's still a bunch of things I haven't side searched for, de for death. Sightser. We have a lab here, so I can go ahead and give you Earth Boots. Site search. Okay, we still have... This guy. I still have two golems I can deploy. I'm kind of partial to raiding with them. The problem is tarts can kill them. Um, the other thing that's likely is on provinces I just raided, they probably have very low PD. So these actually are targets for thing like for remote side attacks. I don't really have any I can cast at the moment. But... Uh, and the final thing we'll have to do. So okay, there's a few things we still have to do. One of which uh, is script my armies, which I'm not going to ask you to watch. Kind of be a surprise. The next episode. The second thing we have to do 
is um sorry I'm like a little tired and slow okay so we need to script this army which is fine um we need to check on our research which we're basically done with then I'm basically gonna have to redeploy a huge amount of these. I think when I when I'm done with research, which I'm basically done with, we're gonna start doing like massive redeployments, and we can actually start preparing for that. Like, let's go ahead and send these guys up here to get ready for the Relayan War. Send you guys over here. Start moving mages to the war front. Um be able to get rid of all these research items. And... Okay, I think that's about it. Oh, wait, did we get rid of this? Okay, this guy's going, he's going normal phase movement. He's going here. What is this guy doing? He's teleporting the body through. Okay, we've got a script right. Where is he teleporting to? 136. here. Geomancers versus Golem. That doesn't actually seem like a good idea, buddy. Um, I feel like this may actually be the safer move. And, well, like this may be the safer move. Getting those two provinces. Not very likely he moves things there, and it's highly likely we're gonna catch. Like, this probably is a few golems, but I think that's okay. Eight. Okay, we gotta rethink it, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. You'll find out next episode. Take care, guys.